The drama continues in the Heritage Funeral Home and Cemetery controversy. Yeah, the funeral director arrested on charges of abuse of a corpse is free on bond after spending the night in jail. We were there as he walked out of Metro. Our Lee Peck picking up the story tonight. Lee, JoJo Bonner had a lot to say. Well, he did, Byron and Shelby. Bonner was released after posting $10,000 bond, even talking with us at length about the charges against him. Out on bond, Joseph Bonner didn't shy away from our cameras. What I'd like to say that it's a sad day for all licensed funeral directors in the state of Alabama when law enforcement will hold a funeral director criminally liable because they allege that a vault company did not seal a vault and that they say a grave digger did not dig a grave low enough. The funeral director spending the night in Metro Jail after his arrest at Heritage Memorial Gardens following the discovery of improper burial practices by Mobile County Sheriff's investigators. <laughs> Families of the three bodies exhumed cheering as he was placed in handcuffs. Bonner says he too is a victim. I know that the families are suffering. I'm suffering with them. I've been through, it's been a nightmare for us. Their loved ones hadn't been able to rest. They hadn't been able to rest. And the people that involved, such as me, myself, I hadn't been able to rest. And I, and I think at some point that there should be some apology because I think um, law enforcement is more at, at fault for what happened yesterday. Nothing about this case is common. Nothing about this case is um normal. Mobile County District Attorney Ashley Rich also weighing in on this most unusual case. Uh, currently the investigators are at a meeting with the um, uh, state uh, funeral directors association and um, we will uh, see what transpires as a result of that meeting today. But we we do expect that there will be additional charges filed. Bonner believes he'll be vindicated telling us he's not the funeral home's licensed funeral director and says he has the paperwork to prove it. I stayed on with them to January of 2018 until they got a funeral director. I was not the licensed funeral director at the time that these families were affected. Specifically, it's the reason why I took action when I was their funeral director for two months. I wrote the state. I actually went to the state and told them, hey, I'm not going to be the managing funeral director at Heritage. Please remove my license. I got that form and I got the form where I signed removing my license. So now, as a condition of his bond, Bonner is to have no contact with Heritage Funeral Home or the cemetery. Live in the newsroom tonight, Lee Peck, Fox 10 News.